Uh, hey guys, Brent here. Uh, <clears throat> I just got a bunch of V-Lights, uh, SNS Precision V-Lights in the mail from a uh, trade that I did. Oh, I traded them a uh, Blackhawk backpack for a shit ton of these. Uh, okay, I, I kind of got to eyeball this because I the, the little viewing viewfinder on the back of the, my camcorder is broken. So hopefully you guys can see these. So anyways, uh, I'll put one on and while I... So there's, uh, you can buy them in two models, well, obviously lots of models. Uh, before I do a little, well, I was going to give you like the dimensions and stuff, but since I'm going to end up doing this anyways, I'll, these uh, are flexible jelly type uh, polymer. Alright, and you can just pull these out of the little, tiny little bracket that they come in. Alright, this is a, a really thin plastic with velcro on the back. It's, uh, I don't know if I would worry about it breaking, but it's definitely really thin and definitely, uh, very, you know, I don't know if I want to, it's not cheap, I don't want to call it cheap, but I mean, it's just, a uh, really thin plastic. So anyways, then you got this that comes out, and, uh, this fits pretty well. through molly strips, well, pals webbing, and will stay in there pretty well if you want to just keep it on there like that. So you can just keep it in there and that's that's not going to fall out because it's so because of the stickiness of the light it's not going to fall out and because it's not heavy at all. So Okay, so anyways, as I was saying before, it's uh you have them in red blue they're not that hard to put on, but I have two blue ones, and that one just, that, one, that one's a little bitchy. Alright, so you can, they come in obviously red, blue, and green, and then I have one IR one that, uh, sometimes you can see it in the camera. So three clicks, so it should be off now. I, I can't see it through the viewfinder, maybe you guys did. Uh, the circuit boards are all a different color. See, this is black, and that's uh, for infrared. Uh, obviously, the red one is red. The green was obviously green, and the blue one's obviously blue. Uh, when they come in the box, here's the little box. Pretty neat little box. It's got the details on the back, product details. When they come in the box, they look like this. And they have this uh, really thin uh, cord that's on them. This wraps around them, dummy corded to it. So if you want to dummy cord it to something, or wear it as a necklace, or you know, whatever. Two of the ones, two of the ones that I got in the trade were brand new, and two of them that I got were already used. So, or not used, but they had been taken out of the box. So I only got two with the cords on them. But I don't really like red ones, anyways, just because I don't really like the color. And I'm not in the military anymore, so I don't have to use red. But uh, these are really good for. Well, obviously you can. Stay like I said. Without the the stripping, you can put this in the molly webbing or the pals webbing by itself. Obviously, with it's got Velcro on it. I have a tag admin pouch right here. Obviously, it'll stick on your admin pouch, so you can wear it on the front of a vest, or you know, obviously you could put it in the molly. You can probably you could even put it through this on this webbing, whatever. Then uh, if I move this over here, this is a tag raid pack. I can put it through the Velcro right there, so it's on the back of a backpack. Um, these have 120 hours worth of uh, battery life. The batteries are non-replaceable. Right, they're right here. They're uh, CR2. Let's see if I remember that right. CR2032. One battery. Uh, the operating ranges of this is negative 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for the polyelastomer housing. They call it is. And the battery's operating temperature is negative four to negative hundred or negative four degrees to one hundred fifty eight degrees. So obviously, it would be negative four to one hundred fifty eight degrees Fahrenheit for this because obviously the battery doesn't work. Then what's the matter if the housing is busted up? It's six ounces in weight, four inches by one inch by three eighths inches. Like I said, run time's one hundred twenty hours, and that's all of the specifications. Alright, as I've been saying this whole time, obviously you have the different colors 
all of these lights are the version where that one click is solid, one the next click is blinking, and the next click is off. That's what all these models are. But you can get any color in just strictly on and off. I like the blinky version. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, like I said, um, I don't know if I told you, 66 feet is what the waterproof housing is for. Well, it's not. It, it'll go. It'll go deeper than 66 feet because this is. They put the circuit board in there, and they put the battery in there, and then they just put it in, you know, mold, and then fill it up with this uh, elastic or poly elastomer, what they call it, this uh, this rubber, and uh, it's fully sealed in there. So this would go below 66 feet, no problems. Obviously, uh, what they said in the in the in the pamphlet is that 66 feet at water pressure of 66 feet is going to activate it. 66 feet, whatever the water pressure is at that depth, will activate the light. So 66 feet is how far this will go underwater. Uh, if you're not planning on having it get wet at all, you could take an X-Acto knife and slice right here and pop that battery or pop the whole housing out, change the battery, and then you'd be able to keep changing the battery and maybe just put like some duct tape across that opening or some, or uh, even fill it in with like uh, super glue that you're not your, your slit or fill it in with uh, nail polish or something. And then you'd be able to keep having it. <coughs> the cost of these, oh, and then obviously you could put it on your helmet if you have Velcro, but I don't have Velcro on my helmet because I don't need it. Uh, anyways, uh, like I said, uh, these are really good for anything that you would need a chem light for. You can, the amount of chem lights for, that would cover you for 120 hours, you know, and then obviously these can be touched on and off. And obviously when they're inside of these with these little holes, you can tie it to anything you want. So this is going to be really good for backpackers, campers, hunters. Which is what I'm going to use it for since I'm not in the military anymore. But yeah, obviously for military use, so the law enforcement use, possibility are endless. Um, for campers, obviously if you're camping and you're at night or you're, you know, or if you're hiking with people at night, you know, put a, uh, one of these on the back of your backpacks, so you know, to keep track of people. You can put a red chem light out by uh, where your latrine is or something for at night. You can... Since you can tie these, you can tie them to your tent pegs at night. Lots of different uses for them. Uh, they are $39.99 each, um, depending on where you look online. I've seen them for two prices, uh, $39.99 and $49.99, depending on where you go. You can find them quite a few places online. Just Google SNS Precision v Light, and a bunch of places will pop up that sell them. Great, great value for what they are. I love them. Can't stop sticking them places. <laughs> so yeah, the only I th the only downside to these is that they are uh, obviously you can't change the batteries on them if you want to keep their water tight, their waterproof properties. Uh, but other than that, 120 hours if you can turn them on and off. 120 hours just using them sparingly is obviously gonna you're gonna use them for a, they're gonna stay up good for a while. Alright, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll turn them on for everyone one last time so you can see them. It's like Christmas! I'll put these in my Christmas tree when it's Christmas time. Alright guys, thanks for watching again. Uh, thanks for all my new subscribers and new commenters. Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys later.